in this video, I'm going to be breaking down my favorite match coverage in Madden. I'm also going to be teaching you kind of the basic bare bones principle as to how this is going to work against two by two sets, whether that be doubles, spread, spread by flex, spread by slot, any spread out two by two set, this is how this coverage is going to work. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and to hit the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the channel. Hey guys, my name is Cody and our channel is focusing on helping people become better Madden players. If you're looking to really take your game to that next level, I've got my full 46 defensive ebook as well as over 20 offensive and defensive guides available over at my Patreon. If you've not signed up for the Patreon yet, I would really encourage you to do that. It's only $10 a month and it gets you instant, immediate access to everything. We're actually working also on a weekly Q&A stream where our Patreon members get to ask their questions live and we actually break them down in practice mode and maybe even in a game mode. All right, guys, so let's talk about two by two spread. In particularly, let's take a look at the quarters coverage, uh, which is my favorite coverage to play in Madden 22 because it really adapts. It's almost like a box in one zone, if you will. It's going to funnel a lot of the route combos into the middle of the field, which is where your user just so happens to be. So, like I said, I'm in the 46 playbook here, and we are going to be taking a look at the uh, spread spread formation. So, I'm just going to jump into nickel 335 here. Now, I do recommend the nickel 335 to nickel 335 wide, and the big reason why I recommend that is because the cover four show two, we're going to be able to use cross man principles on pretty much anyone on the field. It's really the number one reason as to why I run this defense is for the fact that I can cross man. Um, at a very, very high, high clip, high level. So as you can see here, I'm gonna go ahead and Packers and put Kevin King at the safety position. I also like to have Adrian Amos back there at safety, I like to use her Darnell Savage, and then at the linebacker spots, I'm gonna use Harrison Black, and I'm gonna use Sean Davis, and then we're gonna go with Gary, Smith, and Clark in the slot. You can have really whoever you want there. Um, I'll go with uh, Rizzle Douglas or whatever, it doesn't really matter. So two by two sets, two by two sets, let me just kind of show you this. It's actually, um, Think in the general teaching of quarters, they talk about this as a twins set because quarters is a split field coverage. What that basically means is we're going to split the field in half, right? So we're going to play uh, twins left or twins white, or we're going to play twins left solo right, or we're going to play twins left with trips right in a five wide uh, scenario. So you see here, if you take a look here, the empty base flex is twins to the left, but on the right side, we're going to have trips. However, if you go to the tray open, now you have a solo check on the left, but you also have trips to the right. So it's a split field coverage, meaning it's gonna divide the field in half, and the rules are gonna kinda of duplicate uh, based off of that. Now, when I said two by two spread, that does not mean two by two tight. Two by two tight is a very different defense, and uh, or it's gonna, the coverage is gonna change or tweak, and we have rules of that coverage all over our channel lately. We've been talking a lot about defending tight because I feel like a lot of people are running it. Uh, but let's take a look at 252 spread and kind of walk you through why I like this. Um, and again, this is going to go for spread sets. It's going to go for doubles week. Another set that you might not think it would work for actually is like the split twins or the wing slot. Um, you have twins to the left and on the right side you have tight. So you're going to have tight rules to the right and you're going to have twins rules to the left. Okay. So um, I'm actually gonna just leave the tight end here because I think it's easier to teach with the tight end. I think we're actually seeing a lot of people use like normal Y off or something like that. So uh, I've got Hot Rod Master up so I can get any route on the field. We're just gonna give our slot a little bit more room to work. So we're gonna go to the right hash uh, with this. So the basic principle for playing quarters coverage, especially quarters coverage, it's not palms coverage, it's not cover six, it's not cover nine, it's not cover three match, it's quarters. And when I talk and teach quarters, what I like to tell people is essentially the basic overarching principle is we want to uh, have our linebackers guarding the backs and the tight ends, and we want our corners to guard the wide receivers. And the way this is going to function is if you take a look at your coverage show, you're going to see that if I go to the cover four show two here, you're going to see that I have four quarters, cover four, right? Those four uh, those four uh, cover guys are really designed to take numbers one through four if they go on a vertical route. Now, what's a vertical route, you might be asking? Vertical route is pretty much anything over seven to eight yards. It's a no cover zone in quarters. 
And essentially what that means is, let's say for example that the left side receiver runs a smoke screen, and maybe we take the triangle receiver and we put him on a vertical route. You're gonna see that that outside quarter is gonna not cover him, he's gonna go cover the other guy. Why? Because again, there's that no cover zone. Now if you think about the no cover zone, like I said, it's typically anything seven to eight yards and underneath it. And if you think about um, the what does that mean for your underneath defenders, it basically means that those underneath defenders, your two quarter flat players on this play, they're in charge of that no cover zone. They're gonna be kind of uh, essentially uh, working together within the free red hook to defend everything underneath 10 yards. Oftentimes it's a route like a drag to the tight end or a slant to the slot receiver or a uh, wheel to the running back or a quick out to the running back. A lot of the running back routes really are the routes that go underneath at that 10 yard kind of barrier. So what I like to teach people, especially when defending the quarters, and again, based on the basic principle that I want my cover guys guarding my, my receivers and I want my linebackers to cover underneath. I'm actually gonna turn my linebackers into two curl flats. And the reason why I like to do that is because again, it's that 10 yard rule, everything underneath the 10 yard rule, I know that those linebackers will cover that. So uh, we're just going to simply put both of our linebackers into curl flats. And then what you're gonna notice is now we have some freedom for what we wanna do with this slot corner. Now, when you're defending two by two spread, there's a lot of things that you could justify. I like to teach people that you could basically man him up on anybody that you want. If you wanna put him in a vertical hook, you certainly can do that as well. I'm gonna man him up in this scenario on the running back because one of the most effective players in spread is indeed the running back. Then I'm gonna use her in the middle of the field here with Darnell Savage and then you can drop one of your D linemen into a bluff blitz assignment. And what you're gonna see is this is gonna play really nice coverage on a lot of the different route combinations. So what are some route combinations that you might see if they are running a, uh, a two, by two, two by two type of set? Well, a route combination might be a slant post type of concept, and I'll show that real quickly here. So I'm gonna slant um, that left side slot, and then I'm going to uh, have it tied in on a post, Maybe have some clear out routes on the field, something like this, if I can get this thing to work with me here. There we go. And again, you've got the running back manned up and you've got the underneath coverage, right? So you got a lot of really good coverage on him. So in the scenario, anything over 10 yards, you want to kind of help him poach with, with your user. So as you can see right here, the quarter coverage is going to take that tight end across. And you see that this is one of the better coverages for one of the better route combinations in the game. Now another concept that you're going to see, especially if they're a good two by two spread player, they're going to do, um, they're going to definitely run some type of, you know, something like something like this. Okay, um, it could be a little bit, you know, something like this. A lot of times, what you'll see because of the fact that we have a threat of pressure within the defense here, that they will go ahead and block their tight end, right? Um, so they they will potentially do something like that. But anyways, here we go. Gonna go ahead and just drop our zones just like we did last time. And what you're gonna notice here against this two by two spread is if again, if you see a deep crossing route, you might need to be responsible for that. So in this situation, we get the deep crossover route. And then as you can see that everything under 10 yards is kind of in that box in one zone. Everything is boxed underneath in that little, in that little coverage. It's one of the main reasons why I really like this defense because it gives me a lot of freedom with my user. The coverage is definitely intact. And the biggest thing we have to worry about is, again, the running back on a wheel or the running back on something, right? Um, if you don't want to worry about the running back too much or if you feel like the running back's not really a threat, then you can go ahead and man that slot corner up on the slot receiver. What this allows you to then do is this inside quarter defender is, again, a free defender. So whatever you want to do with this guy, you certainly can. If you want to put this guy into a uh, inside third to protect against the skinny post, on both sides of the field, that's a great idea. So we're gonna put him in an inside third here to protect against that. Again, another combination that you might get from time to time, you know, might get something like this, you know, where we get a little, uh, you know, kind of a little try and bomb concept out of this coverage. And what you'll see here is the quarter coverage does really good and we're able to defend it. So basically when I talk about your user, everything um, is pretty much box under 10 yards. And really what you're looking for is either the tight end on a corner, tight end on a post, like the slot. And whichever crosser comes into your field of view first or the most open crosser, that's basically what you're going to do with this defense. But other than that, honestly, this is one of the best coverages in Madden uh, for not only 2x2 two two spread, but in my opinion, every single coverage in the game. 
and the way that it works together is incredible. So I want to thank you for watching today's video on cover four quarters when it comes to defending spread sets. Um, again, by manning up the slot, it allows you to then, again, your cover guys guarding cover guys, right? So I can then take that safety and have him in anything that I want. If, if you man up any of the four across, it allows you to do that. If you don't, let's say you're playing thinking about it like this is that you're boxing wanting somebody so you've got that man coverage and he's going to kind of tag on to somebody whoever that might be it's up to you um, and the other thing that i want to say real quick before we take off is if you don't want to man the slot up then what i would rather or i would tell you to do is go ahead and shade your coverage up you see how that's going to put the two curl flats out there and then now your linebacker can be someone that you're going to put in that and you can man him up on anyone on the field so if i want to try to take away that tight end post i can do something like this and now if they try to go with a tight end post route um you know it's not necessarily super open you're going to see the cross man come across and now you've got kind of a double team on that player obviously the tight end post is that good um so i think you definitely just simply use it and kind of box and one but again it's a box and one defense to me just like in basketball and the one is who you're going to man up. Are you going to man up the linebacker on anyone on the field? Or are you going to take that slot corner and man him up on either the slot receiver, the outside receiver on the left, or the running back on his side? That's your decision based on formation. But as you can see here, I think this is one of the best defenses in Madden. Not just for the spread, but for every other formation. If you want to learn how to apply this concept to every major formation in Madden, you're in luck I have it in my Patreon membership. We put a major update in there a couple of weeks ago that taught this defense in depth. We're going to continue to update that um, just going over different formations and how it works. So if you want to get access to that defense, there's a link in the description. The cool part about the Patreon, it gets you all 20 of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides. It also is going to get you any updates like what we did with this defense in particular. And we do that pretty much every single week on the Patreon. So it's only $10 a month to sign up. There's a link in the description for that. Also, I uh, wanted to let you know that I have launched a Discord server. If you want to join our Discord server, it's completely free to do that. There's a link in the description. kind of gets you up to date with everything and allows you to ask your questions uh, to me in Discord. I feel like Discord is honestly the best option um, for me to be able to keep up with everything. So if you want to join our Discord, there's a link in the description.